party people in the place to be, this is DJ Cassidy, and you are tuned in right now to That's Enough.com. That's Enough.com, my brother. My brother it is, from another it is, mother. It is your time to shine. So listen. I mean, you've been shining for years, but now your project's getting ready to come out. Uh, we've been playing your single already, uh, Call No Hearts. Yes. Um, and Let I, me tell you something. Yes. I know you hear this from everyone. There is no greater feeling than hearing your record on Hot 97. Oh. There's just no greater feeling. You know, this is the station I grew up with. There's right. no better feeling than hearing you guys cut up the right. break. I love cut up the single. break. You cutting up the break is the greatest thing I've ever heard in the my best, life. The best, right? The best. I love it, too. <laughs> you know why I love it? It gives me that... Um, Nostalgic or original feeling like when I used to cut up break beats. Well, that's now, that's kind of the concept yes, behind the record. Yes, that's why that's why I totally get it. Um, when I first started DJing, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, we learned on classic disco breaks, uh -huh. um, and these kinds of songs from the um, from the late seventies, early eighties. Exactly. Um, it's kind of the same period that uh, your album was kind of based on. Yes, inspired by. It. Inspired by, it, right? Exactly. So perfect. Seventy-eight to eighty-two. Right. So like all these songs, for the most part, had breaks, and um, when I got to hear your song, I, I loved it. I was like, "Oh, it's a nice song." But then when the break came in, I was like, "Whoa, what is this?" Yep. And if you remember, all the records on the album have a break. Right. You gave me a tool, and you gave all DJs tools. You know, just like um, original R and B uh, and or disco, um, and I. I it's like you gave me a toy to play with. Pause. I don't want to sound crazy, but, you but, know. But the truth is, is that hip-hop comes from those right. breaks. Yes. Hip-hop and rap music comes from those breaks. And, you know, in all my experiences all across the world, right. the soul music of the late 70s and early 80s is the greatest and most universal dance music I of agree. all time. No matter what kind of music. All the party people came to hear. That's right. That music will kill them. That's no right. No matter who they That's are right. and no matter where we are. That's right. And I set out with this album to bring that sound and spirit back. That's it. You know, the feeling of when, of when real humans make other humans dance with real instruments is a feeling like no other. So I went and got the musicians right. who were behind the greatest records of that era and put them back in one room what's for the that, first time in 30 years. What's that process like? Is that... I mean, well, cause, it's a four-year process. Oh, it's a long time. But I is, just, now, is Nile Rodgers easy to deal with? Is is Rufus and, and their team easy to deal with? Like, I mean, these these guys are icons, legends. Icons. You know, I got to tell you, I was absolutely humbled, honored, flattered, and completely mind-boggled. Right. By how humble and kind and warm and welcoming these legendary musicians were to me. Right. Because I could have walked in the studio and they could have been like, yo, why are you trying to bring back our-ish? Our right, ish? right, right. Right. They could have been like, who's this youngin? Who are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who are you and why are we here? Right. Instead, they were equally inspired and excited Good. to bring this sound back to life. Well, I mean, let's keep it 100. As, 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 as how I... Yeah, they're iconic. Yeah, they're they're on top of the world or whatever, but they're not current right now. So you're bringing them back from the dead and you're bringing them back alive. You know, they Listen, they've always they, let me wrong. I don't want I don't want this to be misconstrued or mis whatever, misquoted. The music is always going to be alive. It's always classic, classical. We play it, but for them to create new music in 2014 yeah, it's and you pair them on the same radio station that Beyonce lives on and Jay-Z lives on, they could now talk to their grandchildren and be like, yeah, I'm on High 97 too. Yeah, the great thing is is that some of the musicians on my album are still very active on the road. Earth, of course. And Fire, Nile and Sheik, Cool and the Gang. Right. But what's amazing about this record is that it gives them a brand new song mm. to play in their shows exactly. and to hear on the radio. There you go. And... Um, it was really, really my goal to bring that sound to young people. And how I did that was I recreated the sound with the musicians of that era. Right. And then I went and got all these young and um, very current, very renowned artists from our generation, right. from our day, mm -hmm. to write and record original songs. Right. So playing on top of this music, we have um, vocals from... 
John Legend, Estelle, right. Kelly Rowland, Melanie Ooh. Fiona, Mary Ooh. J. Blige, Ooh. Neo, CeeLo, mm-hmm. Robin Thicke, Jesse mm-hmm. J., R. Kelly, Usher. I go on the road with Robin Thicke. Okay. On February 21st. Perfect. Until March 29th. Oh, so you're working. So check your ticket master. And for the first time, I will be on stage with a band. There you go. And my band not only plays along to the songs on my album, but they're completely interactive with all the songs I play. There so you whether go. I'm playing Jay and Kanye or Run DMC really? and Beastie Boys or Daft you Punk see? and Calvin Harris or Rolling Stones and Michael Jackson. That's it. The band is completely interactive. And we go on the road on the 21st, the Blurred Lines tour for five weeks. So check your ticket master, check my website, and I hope to see you there. And in the future, yes, in the future, you will be seeing me with the legendary, with all the legendary musicians on stage. That's what I want to see. And all the singers from the record on stage. There's so there's so many exciting things that we can bring yes. to a live yes. show with this album. And I just I couldn't be I more can't excited. Even, listen, I'm even predicting the future. Future. I'm I'm thinking Grammys. I'm thinking um, award shows, performances. I mean, this could be, the matter of fact, the, about this could be, this is going to be an incredible year for you. Well, thank and you, And I wish sir. you the best, man.